So there was a teacher named Alexandra Vera, a 24-year-old middle school teacher in Texas, I think in Houston, and she was charged with having a sexual relationship with a 13-year-old male student. Now, this story came out a few months ago, maybe about uh, five months ago, and she was, um, this woman just recently pled guilty. So, I, she pled guilty to the charges, so I think she's going to get a lower sentence than what she could have gotten if she didn't plead guilty or whatever. So, anyway, so what happened was, the story was that this uh, teacher met a the 13 year old boy in summer school and then the boy asked her out and then in I guess by September she had gone to his house while his parents weren't there they had sex and um, then they had an ongoing sexual relationship where according to the court documents they were having sex every almost every day until January I think September to January so September October November December January about four months and then by January she was pregnant and um, then some social workers or somebody some government people social workers police I'm not sure they came and started asking her questions about this relationship and then she got an abortion of the kid or uh, from the pregnancy so um because i guess she got nervous she thought that they were going to find out about the relationship so anyway so she got charged and um and now she's pled pled out and got in Anyway, so, um, now this story, now, so, Alexandra Vera, she's, uh, I guess she's Hispanic, olive skin, complexion, dark hair, she has a kind of thick, kind of, uh, figure, she has big breasts, I'm not sure, I guess she has a cute face, pretty face, I think she's pretty enough, she has, um, she's kind of chubby, she has, big breasts I'm not sure if they're implants it looks like they could be implants but I can't I personally can't tell because I haven't seen any photos of her in revealing kind of clothing I've only seen her in like you know clothes that kind of cover her whole her whole body so you can't really tell but to me they look like they could be implants but you know I'm not really sure but anyway so she's fairly attractive relatively young and she's having sex with this um, male student. So in these kinds of cases, when you have a pretty attractive teacher, female teacher having sex with a younger boy, you get that South Park reaction. Like that South Park episode where you have the people saying, nice. when, the, <laughs> Or um, people will say, guys will say, where were, where were teachers like that when I was in school? I wish I had a teacher like that when I was in school. They wish they could have had sex with a woman like that. And I won't lie either, see? I wish I could have had sex with a woman like that who looked like that when I was 13. I wouldn't have, my, have minded... Fuck it. I wouldn't have minded banging a woman like that, coming in her pussy. I would have. I would have loved to just bang that pussy and have have her pussy dripping that, I, I'm not gonna lie I, I wouldn't m have minded having sex with a woman like that when I was 13 in fact I would still have sex I would have sex with Alexandria Vera right now but anyway um this so this um so this <clears throat> But, but it is a double standard because if it was a male teacher and a female student, a 24-year-old male teacher and a 13-year-old female student, it would have been pitchforks and um, torches, flaming torches. People would be calling for him to get raped in prison. 
people want to murder him, cut off his penis, uh, roast him in a fire, hang him from a tree, cut off his head, I don't know, whatever. Cut off his head and stick it on a pole. But, um, so it, so it is a double standard, but it's also kind of different if you have a male teacher, a man and an a older man and a younger woman versus an older woman and a younger man or even an older man and a younger boy it's, it's kind of different the difference is that males tend to be sexual predators males are always looking for that sex men are, men are about the sex that's what men are kind of thinking about like straight sex whereas women are not like that but I mean like so a woman is not going to be like see and when when you have a man and a woman have sex, the man, even a male and a female, the male is the one who needs to get an erection, and he's the one that needs to stick his penis inside the woman's vagina. So, it's uh, the man is is he has to kind of take the initiative. Is you, a man can't be. It's, it's very difficult for a man to be a, a passive participant in a heterosexual sexual encounter or sexual intercourse heterosexual sexual intercourse because a man needs to he needs to have his penis hard and thrust into the woman like anyway but um so and and just the way young boys are young boys men whatever they're ho so horny that it's hard for them to be molested by a woman like just straight sex 13 year, a 13 year old boy they would love to have sex or the average 13 year old boy would love to have sex with an older woman I know I would have when I was 13 14 15 16 etc I would have loved to have sex with an attractive relatively young woman but um so it is a little bit different but see, this is still, the woman is still, this woman, Alexandria Vera, she still was taking advantage of this young boy. Maybe not sexually taking advantage of him, because I'm sure he loved to have sex with her, but she's taking advantage of him in the sense that she's an older woman who has a bunch of baggage she's been she's been around longer she's been living for a long time this boy he's 13 years old he, he just hit puberty like you know this year last year or whatever he he hit puberty when he was I don't know like 12 or 13 so he just he just hit puberty right he's 13 years old so he doesn't have he's he hasn't he most likely has not been around the block whereas this woman this 24 year old teacher she's she's 24 years old she's probably been around the block she and she this woman has a child she has a, I think a six-year-old daughter so she had a child when she was 18 years old she's a single mother she's been around the block she has she's been uh, accumulating baggage you know who knows she may have sexually transmitted infections from her past relationships and um so she she um and i think that um see a, a female sex a female older female who goes for a younger male to me is different from an older male going for a younger female the older males going for younger females or younger males older men going for younger partners who like you know early teens partners those men are a lot of times they're just looking for sex whereas you have these older females going for younger partners I think they're trying to um, snag get these young men caught up in their um, baggage caught up dealing with their baggage and get, getting them entrapped getting them handcuffed getting them um, caught up in their way because this woman's a single mother, a lot of a lot of 24-year-old men who are attractive, who have options, they'll look at her and say, 
this woman has has a child she you know too much baggage I don't want to deal with that but if you take a a 13 year old boy he's 13 he doesn't know anything he sees this um this attractive woman he just he doesn't care he's get he's having sex he doesn't think about anything anything else and then he gets entrapped to this woman he gets tied down by this woman now by you know she's having she had sex with him for four months within four months she was pregnant by him so this kid's 13 years old and he he's getting he's getting locked down by this woman she has him she would have had him handcuffed probably if it wasn't for those um for the social workers who came and um started to talk to her and then she got nervous and had the abortion if it wasn't for that he would have been this boy he's 13 years old he would have been um trapped paying child support to this woman she she could have had him locked down and had him um had this kid dropping out of high school and working in some dead end dead end job he he this guy could have been working at McDonald's or Burger King Taco Bell or whatever working at the gas station or working at Walmart working in a factory trying to um, support this woman support the baby he has with her plus support um, the the child her daughter from the from the previous from a previous relationship so this woman she she would have had that she could have had this little boy locked down because he didn't know any better and she would most likely would have had difficulty getting uh, a 24 a man her own age of sim equal attractiveness who would be willing to put up with that or w would be able to would be willing to fall for for her trap she maybe could have gotten uh, some much older man she maybe could have gotten a 40 year old sugar daddy or something who would be willing to support her but but in terms of but by her going for a 13 year old boy who didn't know any better she could get a guy who a fairly attractive uh, guy but and still and still be able to lock him down and still be able to handcuff him so I think that's why this 24 four year old woman went for this 13 year old boy because at first I was looking at her I was thinking what what's wrong with this woman she you no know, she's 24 years old she could get she looks she looks pretty good she she probably has a hundred guys trying to approach her every day why is she gonna be why is she going to um, go for this 13 year old boy but now I see, and then I heard she was a single mother, and I realized that she m maybe couldn't get um, a guy that would want to stick around and want to um, be locked down with her and her and the baggage that she has from past relationships. So she was going. So I think she might have been going for that young, the much younger guy because she knew that the younger guy was too naive to figure out to see the trap coming the way that maybe a 24 year old guy or someone around her own age would have would have um, seen that it was a trap or or would have seen that she has all this baggage and they don't want to deal with that so this woman was a predator I think um, but but a fee the, the women who go for these younger guys are predators but they're not predators in the same way that men who do that are they're not sexual predators is they're they're like relationship predators trapping men into into the in, trapping these young guys who don't know any better into relationships with them